welcome back to my channel today we're playing bit life with um miss taylor swift herself as our emotional support um so yeah let's just get right into it who do i want to be that's that's a deep question um i'm gonna go with madeline because it kind of sounds like matilda and i really like matilda so we're gonna go with that okay okay we're just okay we're gonna get started now uh my birthday is may 6th i'm a taurus uh my name is madelide uh, giliano my mother is gianna reina a photographer at age 26 my father is nicola giliano a real estate agent who's also 26. we have a family cat named bear I was born a female in Palmaro, Italy, and I was planned. Nothing happened when I'm one year old. Um, age two, new friend. Uh, Al Allegra. We're just going to call her Allegra. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't want to hear about it. A little girl named Allegra wants to be your friend. Um, She's not very smart, but she is. She seems nice, okay? We're going to be friends with her. Um, you are now friends with Allegra. That's great. That's great. At least I'm not lonely. Okay. Age three, vaccination. My mother is, your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. How do you behave? Bite her, try to stay calm, throw a conniption fit. Well, you know, we're going to bite her, okay? I'd, don't act like you wouldn't. Free reign. You are at the park and you have free reign to play as you choose. What will you choose? Sit in the shade, swing set, practice my soccer skills, or play house? Well, I remember one time when I was playing on the swings, uh, I like went really high and then I fell off the swing onto my back and I never went on the swing set again. It's a little traumatizing, so we're going to go with the swing set. Hopefully I don't fall like I did real life okay age five enemies your friend allegra has made you her enemy well she was a little crazy she was very crazy actually age six primary school you are starting primary school yay we did something family vacation your parents want to take you on a vacation to Berlin. How will you behave? Be appreciative, complain, but go, refuse to go. We like vacation. So we're gonna go and be appreciative of it. Vacay. Your parents took you on a family vacation to Berlin and you enjoyed it very much. Hopefully that improved our happiness stats. Sorry about my hand motions. Chicken pox. You are suffering from the chicken pox. That's sad. Do I die? Okay. Your parents just had a baby boy named Stefano, your new brother. Okay. Oh, my looks are at 19%. That's a little sad, but at least I'm a very happy kid, okay? Age 10, Bear died. The family cat Bear died at the age of 15. He died peacefully at home as he has finally succumbed to old age. That's sad. Do we get a new cat? Okay, age 11. Class clown. You are sitting in a class and think of something super funny to say in response to your, the teacher's questions. Then she calls on you. What will you do? Answer the question seriously? Rip the joke? Never mind. Uh, I'm going to try and answer the question seriously, but... Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try and answer the question seriously, but if I was a uh, class clown, then I probably wouldn't know the answer. <laughs> 12, a bully. Your classmate, Gio, we're just gonna call her Gio, has been trying to turn your friends against you. What will you do? Um, well, I don't want to be a tattletale, but I also don't want to sit quiet, so we're gonna attack her because it's totally reasonable. Uh, punch her forehead. Let's see. I like the punch part, but how about we punch her in her stomach? That seems a little bit more effective. Ouch! You punch the bully's stomach. 
Then you gave her a swift kick to the thyroid gland. Seems pretty effective. We did a lot of damage. Headmaster's office. You've been sent to the headmaster's office um, for fighting. What do you do? Well, we didn't really think about this, did we? Okay, um, we're going to apologize and try to be like, oops. We're, we're gonna try and be a good kid now that we messed up very badly. The, uh, the headmaster suspended you from school for four days. We're doing great. We're doing great. Uh-huh. Arguments. Uh, your mother is arguing with you because you were suspended from school. What will you do? We're going to apologize and we're going to try and be good kids. But I also want to see if I can commit a crime. What are we going to do? Well, gonna we're gonna try and never mind i thought i could murder someone oops well age 13 squabble you and your little brother stefano are quarreling about who gets to go first what will you do complain to mother attack him apologize him or insult him well he is my sibling so we're gonna attack him uh we're gonna slap um We're gonna just slap his face, okay? That seems, oops, oops, well, he stormed you, he inverted your armpit, he bruised your thigh. Hello, 911? <laughs> Sorry, that took a while for my head to process. Age 14, secondary school. You are starting secondary school. Granite preparatory school, public secondary school. It's been around for five years. My school has been around for like 30, 40 years maybe, so five years, pretty, pretty new. Extracurricular activity. Now that you're in secondary school, you are thinking about participating in an extracurricular activity. What will you do? Uh, we're gonna see what my school offers. very sad um so we're gonna try something that's definitely not athletic so we're gonna go join the calligraphy club uh actually you know what never mind we're not joining the calligraphy club age 15 inappropriate teacher well that sucks your art teacher mr sung tells you that he counts the days until summer vacation now that you're in his class what will you do Act up in his class, it doesn't bother me. Attack him, report him to the headmaster. We're gonna report him because last time we attacked someone, we got sent to the headmaster and we don't want that. It comes to this, you visited the headmaster's office and reported your art teacher, Mr. Sung, for slinging you out in class. The headmaster, Mr. Zappelli, said he would look into it. So our headmaster is not an asshole. So that is, I believe, a good thing, yes. Age 16, eyesight. Your parents are concerned with your eyesight and are taking you for an eye exam at the optometrist. Sorry. Eye exam. Start the test and, um, I'm too lazy to do that. I'm going to forget it. I need glasses. I like glasses. Glasses look cute. If you have glasses, then you're cute. Eyes can't see. You failed your eye exam and have been issued a prescription for glasses. Happiness is very low, but that's okay because we're pretty healthy and we're like a little bit smart, so. Age 17, depression, you're suffering from depression. Okay, driver's license. I'm gonna take the test even though I know I'm gonna fail. Yield ahead, stop ahead, hazards on. You? You passed your driver's test. Oh my god. Sorry, I yelled. Um, I did not ex expect that. Um, I, uh, we're gonna accept it because I feel like if we ask for a more expensive car, we're just not gonna get any car at all, okay? And I want some sort of car after passing my driver's test, so we're gonna accept it gracefully. New up, your parents bought you the eight-year-old green Infiniti QX. Listen. I know it's not the best car, 
but it's your first car okay it's your first car and that's what matters okay uh age 18 cured you are no longer suffering from depression i cured myself wow i'm just i'm like a self-cleaning dishwasher bro okay now i want to see if i can kill someone oh shit no not the doctor uh crime yes okay uh we're gonna see who we can kill who was our old art teacher called yep yep this guy this guy we're gonna um i want something that's like very straightforward that's like very hard to fail so we're gonna strangle him commit the murder you tried to strangle your art teacher he called the police on you oops well um if you guys want me to continue this bit life then comment down below because i will um anyways goodbye for me and miss taylor swift right here Thank <laughs> you.